You know it. Welcome to the Christ James Show. TheChristJames.com. And yes, follow me at TheChristJames on Twitter. I got something special for y'all. See, I'm rubbing my hands. I got a chance to talk to the beautiful R&B singer, Maya. You know, asked her a couple questions. You know, what was her uh, journey? And she actually uh, showed some love to the Miss Independent movie that we're directing at Firework. I actually asked her what was her definition of an independent woman. So thank you, Maya, for co-signing the Miss Independent Woman movie. We on the ChristJames.com. Maya, my first, my first uh, question is about your foundation because I know you've been in the music business for a long time and I just want to know about what you're doing with the kids. People don't know this side of you and I want to share this side of you to the world. Well, I've always loved to teach. I started teaching dance when I was 14 years old. It was my first professional job. And in 2005, just missing the art form and being around kids, I formulated my own nonprofit organization called the Maya Arts and Tech Foundation. And with the help of networking as well as patent laws, which is a legal entity that helped me process all of the work and legalities. I began to pass teachers. I was also a teacher of three classes myself. It operates in the summer months between June, July, and August, September every year and it's funded by myself. I was teamed up with Howard Road Academy initially in the first three years, which is a charter school. And we service the underprivileged or disadvantaged kids in the community free of charge so they have access to what other people that they have um, monetary Nice, nice. <laughs> now, the other thing I want to ask you is your life journey. How did you hook up with Cisco? Like, you know, for your first, because I'm a big fan. In and 1997, I, I was signed to an independent label based in my hometown, Washington, D.C. It's called University Music Entertainment. And they had Drew Hill, as well as Pure Soul, two R&B group acts, signed to them at the time. And they were looking for female artists at the time. And I was that artist from the area. So we were a family and a record label, a mini independent production house. Nice. And my last question, what's your definition of an independent woman? <laughs> my definition of an independent woman, well, obviously, is strong. Uh, strong in the mind and spirit. You have to be very, very, uh, very much of a go-getter. 